one to the science. This focal point here is the superposition. The imagination or the imaginary point, the superpixel that is able to contain information that is projected. The information that is focused at that point in the, in the light. Now, the first thing obviously is the creation of the light. We've got to be able to see the light. So we, get, we, we have this mysterious division. I think it's Zechariah chapter 6 verse 5. Might be verse chapter 5 verse 6. About the four spirits coming out of the throne of God. In the Prajna Upanishad, it says, It is I, Prana, dividing myself fourfold, that hold the body and the mind together. Remember, this is what we're talking about, it molding our bodies and minds together holding our faces together and functioning with our senses, being sane or a whole person, responsive, listening. So there we have the, the division into the four, the four transcendental numbers, remember that there's a focus, so we, we have the focus of attention, which is moving in and out of a point. When, it, when you get that movement, you get a circle, and that is a function of pi. Then you get it, when that point of light moves, it fades on the screen in the mind, that is a function of E. So you're not just stuck with, you know, a bright point of light on your eye. And there is the vision, which is phi, which has been able to see the harmony. Seeing harmony. So we desire to see harmony, we like to arrange things and order things. And this is seeing that it was good. Seeing the movement, so the movement with each other is harmonious, not crashing into each other. The face is a harmonious, people are smiling or frowning, whatever their objective response is to the situation and to each other. So feelings can be expressed. This is what happens with smoking tobacco, is it suppresses those communications and feelings, and so further isolates, just as these different religions or personality cults isolate us. Just as, a, you know, belief in one's own being special, you know, that individual personality cult, that also isolates us in a, basically a psychotic delusion. So here the key thing is from the dark energy, from the prana, there's the division into four, which enables the seeing of light. So consciousness is the seeing of light, or light is the seeing of it. And it's the creation of this division that creates light. Let there be light is the creation of this division into the four of the prana. So from the infinite light, <coughs> it just becomes a point of light, which is then the focus of attention. So all the all the prana then focuses and rushes into that focus. And that is the vanishing point, that rushing of the prana, of the dark energy towards that point, the you know, the infinite. So we focus, so there's a rush of that energy to the focal point, to the superposition, there's the energy. It's very difficult sometimes to, to you know, get it correctly, you know, whether the energy is going one way or the other. Now this, remember, is the nature of the dark energy, the nature of the imaginary. You know, is it polarity? It contains both polarities, so you can have an explanation one way and an explanation the other way. <coughs> Basically, what we should think is the energy is flowing into us, and that's projecting the reality, projecting the world, and then it's flowing out of us, back into the world, as it were. And then that energy is then going back into the grid, into a bigger energy system. You know, the ley lines of the earth. 
So the chi, the prana, is flowing in. And then we're using it, responding, and it's flowing back out. But the main thing is when it flows, the initial thing is that creation of that point of light. And this, so there's the eye seeing that point of light, is that creation of light. And then that point of light moves, and then you, and then you get a, moves in and out of focus, and then you see that, the, see the faces that, on that surface. As you see, when as that point moves, it looks like that it's moving on a surface, and, and that is the face. The surface is the face. So there is the focus, which is the mother's breast for a baby. It seeks the breast, which is the movement, and it sees its mother's face. So with the light, we see the point move, we see its movement, we see the shapes that he's drawing. The movement of the line creates the intent. on the surface and that's what we see and our minds naturally focus that energy so it's you know harmonious want a harmonious picture now this is on the quantum level just remember the this is the quantum mechanics that point of light is a you know is a quantum quanta a photon a physicist can explain how that happens or somebody who understands what I'm talking about can explain. But there it is, we get a photon, we get a quanta of energy and that we, we see that as a point of light and it moves and, and so we get a drawing, a cartoon drawing which we see at the third eye. We see it, they cut the cartoon of our lives, of our memories and of our future projections, what we imagine, what we daydream, and the more energy flows in to each of the other centers, we color in more information into that cartoon. So we get a detailed image of color and sound, which come from the, from the other senses, but are all put into those super pixels, which we can then remember and project, so we can remember walking in the trees and the smell of the lilac. You know, see what I mean? It's all built in together into the synesthetic superpixel, which we can reactivate by directing that flow of energy which activates the, you know, the, the, the superpixels to project the, the, the memory on the same screen as we see it in the first place the same projection record. And so that quantum movement, it, it, this is the sphere of quantum mechanics, that quantum movement creates, if you like, the illusion of a wave. If you like, it comes and goes, it moves from, moves, appears. It's a two-dimensional phenomena. It appears and disappears. It comes to a, it moves and then, and then it comes to rest. <coughs> <coughs> and that is a waveform. And it's the waveform that creates the sound. So that you get a wave, you get that movement on the quantum thing from movement to rest appears as a waveform. That waveform endures and fades as sound. So that's the basic quality of sound, isn't it? It fades away. So you make the sound and it, and it, and it fades away. You can say, well, okay, things pass through your hands and they fade away. You see things and they fade away. You hear things and they fade away. This is the nature of E functioning in consciousness, in mind, in the basic rules, if you like, operating on, on the prana on this transcendental number, 2.718. So here we have, you know, the, the sphere of relativity, the space-time, which is the, the, the audio, the soundtrack. So space-time, relativity, is the audio, the soundtrack, the audio view of the life, the, 
the waveform. Now the, the, the waveform creates pressure at a surface tension which we feel as touch in our hands and as we move around we encounter you know other cellular forms and that is experienced as pressure as touch we touch objects and so we build up this catalogue of objects and these objects because of this pressure and volume create a certain temperature the objects have a certain pressure and temperature certain pressure and shape or volume so they have a certain temperature, certain speed of movement, certain energy level. And that energy level is there in the gravity in their present state and present rate of change. Here you have the vehicle, there you have the energy. Uh, the, the engine, there you have the driver. There you have the driver seeing the movement and accelerating or towards or mo moving with something. And what's moving on this video channel that's identified as, in, as these faces, they're identified here in the vision. You see, so the, the thing is to see that the laws of physics and the functioning of mind are both dependent on the same structure of the ten dimensions. And the ten dimensions come from the division into the four and then the seven chakras. The, the chakra of reality at the base of the spine, the gravity the point that's ultimately real or objective in our minds. Uh, you know that's where it's, you know, it's a concept. And then at that point there's a certain heat, which is the sexual ch chakra, certain temperature, certain energy. <coughs> that is certain energy. <coughs> puts a pressure, certainly it's a certain energy puts a demand on the system, you know, for food say, and that puts a pressure on the stomach, on the stomach chakra, on the floor of things. So we need to get the things, you get the energy level, then you get the pressure from that. <coughs> <coughs> then you get the heart chakra, <coughs> which is it's like responding to that pressure by choosing, by looking around, by hunting, you know, from here, but brief by looking. <laughs> <coughs> so the pressure, if you like, on the driver. You know, to be at a certain place at a certain time. So he's driving, zooming, he's kept trying to show you how it all fits together as an energy system, as a functioning system you know, for the individual, for the individual car, and for the, for the whole system.